Hello everyone, Gebatron here. This video is a guide on how to train in the game Hell Let Loose. A lot of people out there are wondering how they can get some practice time with game mechanics, weapons, and armor without having to join a game in progress and learn in the chaos of combat. There are rumors that the developers will introduce some sort of training server eventually, but until then, this is my advice on how to go about training. The first thing we need to do to be able to train is find a suitable server. To do that, we go up and click on Enlist. That will take us to the server screen. Now that we are here, there are some things to consider. Remember we are looking to train, not to join an active server. These buttons across the top are filters. Since we will be training alone or with a friend, let's get rid of the full servers by clicking off Show Full. We aren't going to want to train in a community server as they are usually actively trying to seed or hold active matches. Let's get rid of them by clicking off Show Community. That leaves us with the official servers that aren't full. Now that we have filtered the servers, let's sort them to according to what we are looking for. If we want to train on a specific map, we can click Map to sort them by maps. Same with Server. We can sort by number of players. Keep in mind we want to train, not start a match. We can sort by game mode. I recommend training in a warfare mode server versus an offensive mode server as warfare gives you an hour and a half to do what you wish while offensive will require you to capture points every 30 minutes in order to extend the game. Unless of course you want to learn more about offensive mode mechanics. Finally we can sort by ping, which is what I usually do as I want good performance while training. I personally like training in maps like St. Maryglise or St. Marie du Mont as they have larger open areas, have clear weather, are easier to navigate for vehicles, and you don't start out in the ocean like a beach map. Now that we have found a suitable server, let's click Join Server. Now that we are in the server and have chosen our faction, it's time to choose our role. However, as a single player, we will be limited to the officer roles, which include commander, squad leader, tank commander, and spotter. It's this way because earlier in development, what was happening is people would create a squad, then switch roles to something else, leaving the squad without an officer. While this change made for a better player experience in the game, it created a slightly more complicated situation for training. Nevertheless, this is the current situation, but there's still plenty for us to do as the officers. Let's start with the commander role. To take on the commander role, we first need to click on the little arrow next to it. Click on the HQ you wish to deploy at, and click deploy. Here as the commander, we can click M and experiment with commander orders. Take note that dropping supplies and spawning in armor can help us train with other roles later on. Any role is allowed on artillery, so you can begin to experiment with that as the commander too, but it's best to do this with another player. We will talk more about this later. As commander, we can also go throughout the map and place garrisons. To exit the commander role, we need to click Escape, click Redeploy, hit Yes, and that will take us back to the redeployment screen. Click the arrow next to the role to exit the role. Moving on to squad leader. To become a squad leader, we need to click the create unit here at the top right. Infantry is currently selected, and at the bottom we have two options, create infantry unit or create locked infantry unit. Let's create locked infantry unit just for training. You can also lock or unlock your squad here at the deployment screen. If we go to the top right where it says change role and we click that, over here on the right hand side of the screen we can do things like change our loadout or change our appearance. Choose the place you wish to spawn and click deploy. Once deployed we can experiment with the squad leader's weapons and grenades. We can also build garrisons where we drop supplies earlier while playing as the commander and build our OP. To change roles we must once hit escape and redeploy. Once back at the deployment screen we click this box to leave the unit 
Note that if you do this in game, it will leave the squad without a squad leader. Let's move on to Tank Commander. Click Create Unit and select the Armor box. At the bottom, we will have the same two options. Create Armor Unit, Create Locked Armor Unit. Select a place to spawn and click Deploy. Once deployed as the Tank Commander, we can experiment with any armor that is spawned on the map. Note that some armor is only available through commander orders, such as the recon vehicles. Here we can enter the armor, drive the armor, experiment with the armor's weapons, and test out the armor's spotting seats. To exit this role, follow the same steps as before. Let's move on to the spotter role. Once in as the spotter, we can experiment with our weapons, including the anti-personnel mine, build garrisons, and place our OP. Don't forget you can also use this time to become familiar with the map. To exit this role, follow the same steps as before. Sometimes other players may join your server thinking you are trying to seed it for an active match. I find that simply letting them know you are training and asking them politely through VoIP or text chat to vacate the server will work 90% of the time. It's rare, but sometimes you will encounter a troll. It can be frustrating, but it's best to find a different server and avoid them. To experiment with any of the other roles, such as AT or Engineer, you will have to have a friend or someone else create a unit for you. If you don't have a friend that plays Hell Let Loose, then I suggest you go to the official Hell Let Loose Discord. There you can ask someone to join you so you can access the other roles. This is actually what I did when I first started this channel. I just asked and multiple people were kind enough to offer their assistance. Shout out to Tentacles for doing this for me in the past. Once you're in with your friend, you will be able to click the arrow to join their unit. Once you join the squad, you will be able to select any role in that squad, allowing you to experiment with their weapons, loadouts, on-map assets, such as, as the engineer, you'll be able to place mines, build nodes, build defensive structures, while the AT role, you'll be able to fire their AT weapon and build the anti-tank gun. One of the most popular reasons people want to train is to learn how to use artillery, so let's talk about that real quick. While you can operate and fire artillery all by yourself, it's hard to know if you are actually being accurate. Now you can spawn in as a member of one faction, place garrisons, then switch teams and fire at those garrisons to see how accurate you are. However, it's much easier to simply work with a spotter. I don't necessarily mean the spotter role, but just a teammate watching your shots to make sure you are hitting them accurately. Then they can just report back to you and you can adjust your fire accordingly. Now let's say you've done all this and you're looking to train on some more advanced things like how to assault a position, how to coordinate with infantry as a tank squad, or how to lay down an effective artillery smoke screen. Then you would have to be playing with a larger group of people, but the best way to train in things that are more advanced is to join one of the many Hell Let Loose communities out there. I've worked with many of these communities in the past while gathering information for my videos, and I know firsthand that they are all good communities. The best way I know how to find them is on the official Hell Let Loose subreddit. There are plenty to choose from, so don't be intimidated to reach out to them. I will highlight one community, and that is the one at GamePunch.net. Perhaps you've seen their server, Glow's Battlegrounds. This community has recently reached out to me and have been awesome. They have a young but growing Hell Let Loose group there, so maybe give them a look if you're in the market for a community. Check the video description below for links to other guys I have made on all of the things we have talked about earlier in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Subscribe for more Hell Let Loose content just like this. Like and share as it really helps out the channel. If you'd like to support this channel directly, you can via the PayPal link in the description below as I am not a monetized channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and for your continuing support.